and you guys were just telling me how all these ITU people are super fast, and you guys were right there swimming with them. Maybe you were half a second behind. We we're That's totally in the same pool. <laughs> we could see them from where we were. We could see them if they were within <laughs> line of sight. Oh, you guys swam great. All right, we are here in Flagstaff for Altitude Camp. I've been here for a few days. Paul's been here for a little over a week because Nick and I, uh, right after Oceanside, flew to Kona, Hawaii to do a, basically a trip of a lifetime, job of a lifetime, filming for uh, Ralph Dunning for his new company, Foreign Rider. Not really a new company, but he's uh, relaunching it and debuting a lot of new products, and he asked us to make one of uh, three films that will essentially present the ethos and the vibe of the brand to the world. That was like a, a, an insane honor for him to give to us. It, it really spoke a lot to his trust and, and the work that Nick and I have done and, and like a shared vision for how we like to communicate feelings and, and excitement through video projects and um, the film itself will be coming out in July. I have no idea what's going on. I don't know if we're staying or if we're going, uh, but we have come out to do a long run. Starting from the mailboxes at Lake Mary, which kind of seems to be the start point for all sorts of things, biking and running. And we're just gonna do a 90 minute cruise run. Um, Altitude Camp is first week is definitely kind of about just chilling out and breathing and not panicking and that's what we're doing so they all do the uh pain take ride starts from here oh gotcha and yes. they did unless you ride for pay and take in you go and they did 110k oh, sweet. in three hours and then run off the bike let's do that with them next week it's miss lawchuck and his crew oh Matt saw over there? That was pretty sweet. Yeah, it was okay. It was okay. It was a little uh, rutted. <laughs> How about the Jamie's gravel road I've ever seen? Really? Better than size one? No. Well, I mean, that's as good as gravel roads get, okay. short of being a dirt road. Certainly encouraging. Close it yesterday. Yeah. Did you see that last house before the, like the road went into the river? Their entire yeah. driveway was under like three feet yeah. of water. It's insane. Wild. I think this is just like an absolutely wild winter. All around. Yeah, like everywhere. Okay, this is officially my fourth attempt, I think, at starting this video. Um, been pretty much putting out maximum effort to figure out where the good spots to go in Flagstaff are. It's been a little while since I was here. It's muddy. There's a lot of snow and rivers from melting snow this year. Um, but anyway, I think we're getting the hang of it and we are heading to the pool. This is the first day that our coach Paulo is here on deck. Randomly, Nick is also here. 
Uh, he's actually taking some pictures of one of the other athletes that we train with. Bonus, he gets to hang out with us. Uh, this workout is pretty hard. Uh, we're doing five one, six 100s, straight into a bunch of rounds of hard 50s as well. I think the 100s will have a bit of rest and the 50s probably not that much rest. A big part of why we're here, I think, is to like train with some other people, have Paulo see us, and the people that we're training with are fast. The two races that we're gonna be hitting after this camp are St. Anthony's in St. Petersburg, Florida, and then Paulo will be doing the PTO race in Ibiza, and the day before, I'll be doing cross triathlon world championships, which is basically the ITU's version of Xterra. Both of these races are Olympic distance and are gonna require a lot of sharpness and I mean, I think that's part of the excitement of being here and working with this group. We're going to be putting in just a lot of base miles, but then also when we do some speed work, uh, these guys are fast and I'll just be hanging on and trying to reconnect with some of that speed for these races. All right, we're going to do a new thing where Nick says how our swim workout went because he's <laughs> incredibly positive about it's it. Funny, I just got a lot of shit for doing that, but I thought you guys <laughs> swam really great. And you guys were just telling me how all these ITU people are super fast and you guys were right there swimming with them. Maybe you were half a second behind. We we're That's totally in the same pool. We could see them from where we were. We could see them if they were within line of sight. No, you guys swam great. No, it is, it is good because like in the water, when I'm like almost exactly a body length behind, it feels like an infinitely huge amount of time. But you're right. It's you were not half even a, a second. You were not even a full body length behind. All right. It was great. And I was Appreciate very proud of you. You looked very fast. It did go a lot better than the first day because Paulo was here and he set the leaving times instead of some of the more exuberant swimmers in the group. <laughs> that was a little struggle. I can do 50s on the minute. No problem. 50s on the 50? It's a whole other world. <laughs> That's right. Um, what are we doing now? I mean, I know what I want to do, but... Basically, I just need to bleed my rear brake on my TT bike before this bike workout in two hours. Got it. So... I can't get home with 30 minutes to, okay. to spare. didn't work and I think I need new brake pads. I was just looking at the rear brake pad and I think it's like they're, they're completely toast. And this bleed kit is just also getting worn out I think. Just not helping my face. We're bleeding brakes. You're supposed to go on the ride soon. We're bleeding brakes. That's when you bleed, bleed brakes. Moments before departure. Okay, getting ahead and ready to head on to Lake Mary Road to do a session with Seth. I think it's going to be kind of interesting. Like, I'm going to do just time trial riding, and he's going to be doing 30 second sprints around me, to, you know, ITU style. Uh, should be should be entertaining. I'll see what I can shoot of it. Okay, I'll say that was a pretty sick day. Agreed. You having a sick day? Yeah, pretty sick. Paul's got some chicken going in the little mini oven and we're gonna put on some pasta and uh, I'm gonna take the drone and take a look at this beautiful sunset we got going. <clears throat> Nick, tragically, Stupidly. cannot drone. And predictably, <laughs> unfortunately. You left your, your drone the, charger in I Hawaii. Brought the, I brought the car drone battery charger to Hawaii, but mm -hmm. the car drone battery charger always lives in the car, so I forgot to put it back in. 
That's the problem, man, when you upset the routine. That's right. This is why it's hard to be uh, at training camp on the road. Don't know put, where to put the car keys, don't know where to put, don't know where to put the car. anything. Yeah. More fun tomorrow. This happened. I was trying to go to Whole Foods, but like the car just kept kind of like auto steering towards the Dairy Queen. A Tesla knows what the Tesla wants. I'm not gonna tell it what to do. It's a big machine, so here we are. I ate a meal before. I'm here for the fun. I'm here for the fun. You, Nick, you have to get some. Okay. I'll buy it for you. That was fun! That was fun! That was fun. I haven't even had a bite yet and that was fun. <laughs> what did we end up with? What was it? What's this flavor? I got puppy chow. Yeah, so did I. I got the puppy chow. And, and we got a, and we got a pup cup. Did we get the pup cup on camera? Let's see the pup cup. It's a tongue twister. This is the pup cup. We'll get it on camera when we give it to him. Oh, Amazing. the puppy chow is very good. It's very good. Every once in a while you hit like a bigger chunk of it. I didn't even know Puppy Chow existed. Okay, we gotta go to the other shift one. Dog is a priority. That's just, that's just straight up human soft serve? Yeah, of course. I mean, I think he's gonna need some time with that. <laughs> he's not, it's not going fast. It's not whipped cream. <laughs> That is it for the first half of our Flagstaff uh, training camp. It's been a heck of a week, and we are finishing it off tomorrow with a four-hour bike ride. Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you uh, pretty soon for the second half. See you soon, and go Oilers! <laughs>